I am so pleased to be joined by the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles, Carson Wentz. Carson, how are you? What's going through your mind these days? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm doing well. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of kind of craziness going on in the world. Everyone wants to talk about football and, um, you know, I wish I was there and, and, you know, ready to, to participate in football here, here shortly, but, um, there'll be a time and place for that right now. You know, my focus is on, on my family and my wife's due any day now. So, um, outside of that, taking care of my family, working out, and I'm um, just trying to find ways to, uh, invest in the community back there, um, in the Philadelphia area. And so, um, interesting times that we're living in, but uh, trying to make the most of it. Carson, we will talk about your pending fatherhood in just a moment, but I know that recently the uh, AL1 Foundation, through Thy Kingdom Crumb, uh, through Love from the Crumb, made an initial allocation of $100,000 to help those in need. Can you explain the decision to do that and uh, who benefits from this generous donation? Yeah, it's one of those things where, um, you know, anytime there's a crisis uh, like there is today, you know, within AO1 and at TKC, we, we want to find a way to, to just bless and give back. And, um, you know, we really thought out kind of what we wanted to do um, and really want to be a part of this for the, for the long haul. You know, we have no idea when, you know, things will get back to normal. So we want to be able to invest in, in people for a long time. And so we're going to provide um, grocery kits. We're going to provide meals. Um, we've got lots of bulk food on order right now. And we'll have um, teams of, you know, two or three people that have been, you know, kind of quarantined and stayed safe to go in there and pack those and deliver those to people that are in need, you know, whether it's physically need the food or people that are out on the front lines, you know, working in the hospitals, police officers, firefighters, um, you name it. We had a huge list of different distribution locations that we're going to be able to go and, and physically bless these people and, you know, just tell them that we see them, we appreciate them and you know it's a different time that we're living in. And, and right now we made that uh, initial allocation of a hundred thousand. And, you know, we believe that people are going to be on board with us and um, you know, we'll see where God wants to take that and, you know, how many lives we can touch with that. Carson, we are all going through this very horrible time, this global pandemic. I wonder you know, what's been going through your mind these last several weeks and what you're doing to stay safe and how it's impacted you, and, and especially given the fact that, you know, you're in a very precarious situation as a family? Yeah, it's definitely an interesting time. Um, obviously, as everyone knows, the pandemic we're living in, I know for me and my wife, um, it was already an interesting time. You know, we're, we're coming down to the wire here of, of my wife's due date and, you know, a lot of kind of planning and organizing and making sure we're on top of things uh, for when this little girl arrives and, um, you know, now the, the pandemic hits. And so um, we're just trying to be extra cautious just with the unknown of uh, of her being pregnant and what's coming. So uh, we're pretty fortunate to uh, to have a place that we can kind of be secluded and, and stay away from people. And, you know, I'm able to still work out at home, uh, which is, I'm very thankful for a home gym and I have some space outside to, to do, you know, a lot of my workout. And then just working at the house, you know, working at the farm, just staying, staying busy, staying active um, as best I can. But, you know, minimizing the amount of people that, that we're around and uh, um, just trying to stay as safe as we can. And, you know, any day now, my wife's, my wife's going to pop and uh, life's going to change forever. Uh, soon, Madison will give birth and you will become a daddy. How prepared are you for this moment? Uh, I guess as prepared as I can be. Um, I, I don't know if there's really a a way to be prepared for, for those out there that have, that have had kids. Um, I'm willing to take any and all advice right now, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're about to be thrown into it and, and we're excited. We're excited. We, we realize that life's going to change and whatever sort of normal that we've had as a, as a husband and wife is going to be completely different. Um, and, and we just can't wait to, to welcome her into the world and into our family and um, just see what God wants to do with her life. I guess my first piece of advice as the father of two is, don't be afraid of poopy diapers. How ready are you for that first batch of them? And how, how much have you, pra are you practicing diapers on the dogs or anything? I mean, how are you getting ready for this thing? Um, I'm, I think I'm ready. Uh, I've actually not ever changed a diaper. I've kind of been, been stubborn and told my wife, I don't want to change a diaper until I have to, until it's my own child. Um, so I've seen it done. Uh, you know, I got a, I got a niece, um, two nieces now actually. So, I've seen, I've seen plenty of diaper change, so I'm a wife to teach me. Uh, Carson, do you read up on, on daddy things? Do you, or are you just going to kind of just learn as you go? I mean, I remember back to when, I guess you, you're right, you can't prepare for the moment. 
you just have to be ready for anything when the child comes. Um, what kind of pre-planning do you do in terms of reading or listening to your parents' advice or anything like that? Yeah, I've uh, I've read you know some books or chapters of books and, and some important things and uh, talked to a lot of people. Um, you know, obviously as a man of faith, I want to raise uh, raise our daughter. Uh, and, and you know just what that looks like and how to be a, a man of God and raise a little daughter uh, to love the Lord as well and just how we can how we can do those things well so we've been able to talk to a lot of other families and a lot of uh, people that we respect that do have children and ask them lots of questions and um, you know again we're, we're as prepared as we can be and we're excited for the adventure to unfold and uh, we, we recognize that, you know, little sleep might be ahead for both of us and, you know, different things might be coming, but, uh, we're excited for it. Carson, have you prepared the dogs for the arrival of a daughter? I mean, they're now going to have a sister. I, I honestly visualize you sitting there and talking to your dogs and saying, guys, this is what's going to happen here. I, I do talk to my dogs quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure if they know what's going on. They've just noticed that uh, mom's belly's gotten a lot bigger. Um, so they, they're not really sure, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to see. I know they'll all kind of have their own person of the little girl. So I'm excited to see which one uh, really takes to her. And, and I, I envision one of them kind of being her protector and that type of thing. So I'm excited to see those relationships for sure. Carson, do you have a name picked out for your daughter? Uh, we're down to two names, um, and we're not we're not sharing them. We got two names, and uh, hopefully, we agree upon which one we choose once uh, once we see her. But uh, yeah, we're we're down to two, which was uh, a journey just to get to there. And uh, you know, we feel a lot of responsibility in choosing the the right name and getting it right uh, with the first one here. So um, it, it's been fun, kind of whittling down that process. But uh, we're still not quite there. We got we got uh, one more decision to make. Carson, I know you like to plan everything out so when madison does have that when that day arrives do you have an anticipation sense of how it's all going to go down not really um honestly i i have no you know real expectations other than i want to do everything i can to help her which is probably just going to be shut up and, and stay off to the side and um do everything i can to um calm her down and keep her relaxed but um i have no idea what to expect and uh, quite frankly, my wife, you know, doesn't know fully what to expect either. So we just know that um, a miracle is about to take place and something miraculous is about to take place. And uh, we're excited to uh, for that moment any day now. Carson, we were all so looking forward to your third annual charity softball game, the audience of one charity softball game at Citizens Bank Park for many reasons, including I was kind of thinking that you were going to take part for the first time in the game. Was that was that the plan that you were going to be? part of the softball events. And if you were going to play Carson, I wanted to see what your thoughts were in the home run derby. We talked about this a while ago. You said you were a doubles and triples kind of hitter back in the day in baseball. Do you feel like you would have been a strong contender for the home run derby? I definitely like to think I, I would have been a strong contender in that derby. Um, unfortunately, the game had to be canceled, but uh, they'll be next year. And, you know, I, I do participate in, in the game or the home run derby or both, but, uh, yeah, it's been a long time coming for me to actually participate. And so I'm excited to, and, and you know, I know a lot of the guys are kind of bummed about that one too. I think Jake, a, a sad face. So I know a lot of guys are kind of bummed about that, but in the circle, obviously it's a no brainer to cancel that, unfortunately. And I uh, will be back out there, uh, you know, in about a year. Carson, with so much going on, you've been very positive in your approach. Is that the way you always are with things and kind of serves as a very good lesson for everybody? at this time to be positive and confident moving forward? Yeah, I always try to be. Uh, I mean, sometimes what's going on internally isn't always, and there's a lot of stress and angst and anxiety going on inside that I always um, try and fight with. But right now, you know, I think just trusting, and I know I say that a lot, but um, it's easy to trust them when things are good, but when, you know, kind of world's in chaos, to, to actually sit back and say, all right, God, I trust you um, that you're at work through in and through this um, and, and you're going to get the glory through it. For me, is something that I can just rest my head on. You know, I don't have to have all the answers. I don't have to have it all together, but uh, I serve a God that does. So I can trust in him. And um, yeah, that's really where I get positive and, and um, doing everything I can to just trust, uh, trust the bigger in your mind. Carson, any messages for Eagles fans out there who are being so responsible and who are practicing social distancing? 
I just, I just miss the fans. Um, you know, it's something that, um, this is the time of year. I know for us, uh, as players, the off season is really starting to wind down and usually we're coming back there and, and starting practicing, starting from different things. And, you know, obviously those things are kind of put on, on hold for now. Um, so, uh, just, I appreciate the fans, uh, even throughout this off season, just knowing, uh, how excited and how involved I know they are, regardless of, of the circumstances this world's in, they're always tuned in every, every little thing, uh, Eagles football. And so obviously we've got the draft coming up, which, which is going to look different as well. So I'm excited to see the, the pieces that we add and, you know, get back there when we can, when it's safe to, but, uh, I know I'm excited for, for next season. I'm sure a lot of the fans are as well. And, um, you know, God willing, it'll be safe and everyone will be back to work, um, before we know it. And, uh, we'll be back, uh, up there in, uh, in September. Carson, last one. I, I know you don't watch a lot of television, but maybe during this time you have and found something very good. Any, any suggestions, books or music or anything on TV that you've watched that you can share with us? We've been watching the, the show Suits quite a bit. Um, it's, I think we're on like year 2014 right now because we're, uh, there's about 12 seasons of that, but, uh, actually Nick Foles, uh, told me about suits a, a while ago. So we finally got around to, to checking it out. And, uh, that's a, that's a pretty good one. Other than that, uh, I just say, stay busy, stay active, stay outside quite a bit. And, um, but it is off season. So we are on and, and watch some TV and watch some movies uh, a little bit more. Carson Wentz, soon to be a daddy. Stay healthy. Thank you so much for joining us and best of luck to you and Madison. Uh, in the next couple of weeks here through the birth. And uh, congratulations. We can't wait to see what your girl looks like and what her name is. So please share that with, with us whenever you can. Sounds good. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for having me.